Welcome back to Miss Ewing TV. Today I'm going to show you how to create an artwork using lots of different types of lines. So this is my example. For the one I'm going to make today, I'm going to use um, my paper. The materials I'm using are my paper. I need a pencil. Either a black marker or a black crayon would work. Some other colors of crayons and then of course an eraser in case you make a mistake. I'm going to turn this one wide like a landscape. My other example was tall like a portrait. So step one is to put your hand on the paper and you're just going to trace the outline of your hand. So the outline is a type of line that shows the shape of something. And now after I trace the outline of my hand, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to come up with different types of lines. So the first line I'm going to do is a loop-de-loop. -loop. Maybe I'll do a horizontal line next. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight. I'll try a dotted line. So circles in a row that make a line. Maybe a wavy line. I'm gonna make a zigzag, but it's gonna be maybe a big zigzag, little zigzags, big zigzag, little zigzags. I'm gonna make a dash line by using little short lines and leaving a space in between. Maybe I'll make a crazy line that just goes all over the place. Maybe there's a loop every once in a while, some points, some curves. And I'll do the castle line. Up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. And then if you want to add any other lines in there, you can as well. All right, now I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to trace over all of my pencil lines to make them stand out. And if you don't stay on your, li your pencil line completely, you can always go back and erase the pencil lines after you trace. After you're finished tracing, you're going to color it any way that you want. On this one, I colored it with all of the cool colors. Well, not all of them, but blues and greens. And I showed some values, so I pressed harder with my crayon in some places to make a darker value. I left some places lighter to make lighter values. On this one, I think I'm going to use the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. And color it any way you want. All right, and you don't have to stick with warm or cool. You can color it any way that you want. You could use all the colors or just stick with two colors like I did here. Um, after you're finished, take a picture with your Chromebook and send it to me, and don't forget to hit the turn in button. I'm, I can't wait to see what you create.